This is the pre-built customizations for the Gundam Barbatos from Iron Blooded Orphans. When customizing your Gunpla, you're going to be working with things like model glues, various types of paints, and also solvents like paint thinner or isopropyl alcohol are the two most common ones. You want to make sure that you're in a well-ventilated room because you don't want to be uh, inhaling the fumes because they could cause health issues or at the very least make you feel intoxicated. You're going to want to read any warning labels on any products that you use or do some research online to see if there's additional health uh, safety measures you need to take, such as respiratory gear or anything such like that. If you are working with isopropyl alcohol, do keep in mind that that is a wood alcohol which can cause serious health issues, including blindness if consumed. So you want to make sure that you definitely wash your hands after any exposure to it to make sure that you don't get it in your food later on. Okay, it's time to do the panel lining for this model. And I will be using my Tamaya panel lines. I've got my normal colors. I've got my dark gray for the white pieces. I've got my dark brown for the red pieces and every other piece or every other color I'll be using the black. And I'm going to start with the external armor pieces um, just because I'm not sure how it's going to look on the inner frame because they're a really dark gray. I'm going to try the black on them, but I don't want to waste time with that until the end. Um, in case it doesn't work. So let's just get right on into this.
Okay, the panel lining is all done, so it's now time to clean up everything. So uh, let's just get right on into this.
now that the panel lines are done and everything's been cleaned up, it's now time to get everything off of the runners and organized so that we can do the build. So let's just get on into this. Now, just wanted to mention, since this is a kit that has a separate inner frame from the armor and stuff like that, I'll just be keeping the inner frame pieces for each area with the external pieces or armor pieces or whatever. I'm not going to separate the inner frame and the, the other pieces that go for that area. They're all going to stay together.
watching this video right to the end. If you did enjoy it, please do give it a thumbs up. That does help out the channel. If you would like notifications as to when new videos are posted to this channel, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you do have time, please do enjoy one of the videos that are popping up around my head.